first things first first things first before we get onto the older brendan shaw stuff first things mother freaking first can we talk about my boy dsp can we talk about my boy dark side feel for a moment because I'm curious what this whole mindset is. I'm going to show you something that the old uh, Poems Future posted on his Twitter account. So big up Poems Future, um, who keeps up, up to date with everything that fucking DSP does over there on Twitter slash X. Poems Future posted screenshots from DSP's chat before his stream, where he said some really odd things regarding himself, which I want to just highlight here for you guys to see. So this is Poems Future. I think you can see him on the screen. Hopefully you can see him. Oops, okay, I'll have to get it up on here manually. Um, but this is Poems Future Instagram. No, sorry, it's not that one. It's this. Hopefully you can get it up there. Does it show? Does it show now? Yep, there you go. So this is Poems Future screen. So Poems Future posted this really interesting screenshot from DSP's um, stream chat before his stream, obviously, where he was basically getting angry because there's this new troll happening now with DSP streams where people gift him these Argentinian um gifted memberships right because on youtube there's this like bypass i guess this hack you can do where you can give people memberships to their channel but you can do it paying you can do it using the currency of argentina which i guess is argentinian dollars or something i forgot what it is anyway but whatever it is the value of it isn't that isn't that great but the numbers are right the numbers look amazing but the value isn't so i don't know 500 argentinian dollars is like half a half a cent or something right it's really small amount so a lot of people are trolling DSP and basically gifting people loads of memberships, but only using like, you know, paying like a dollar for like 200 or some shit. And then in the message, they're posting troll stuff. So in this particular one, the person gifted um, some memberships to DSP's stream. And then they written a message, Phil spent $2,000 on WWE champions dent money. And this is a new discovery that someone's been tracking that DSP has been spending all the money he gets donated, doesn't go on bills and all this other stuff that he always says. He does, he basically gambles it on this shitty mobile game called WWE Champions. Now, DSP wasn't too happy about this, obviously, when people are saying this stuff. So he decided to get in his chat and say the following. He says, whoopsie doodle, dare bitch. Um, well, uh, he said, I'm still haven't figured out that this doesn't negatively affect my channel yet lol um five straight months of doing it i'm still here and it hasn't affected anything just keep on doing it fucking geniuses but the next thing is the one that really perplexed me he says this there's absolutely nothing you can ever do to me to hurt me i'll be here regardless of your efforts and i will outlive you and you will not and you will continue to be a waste of human life now DSP, I understand why DSP is saying this because, you know, he does get trolled a lot. Um, a lot of people hate him, myself included. So I understand why he feels this way. But sometimes I think to myself, why does he say these things? Because it's almost as if he's setting people a challenge to try and take him down. Like a lot of, a lot of low cows do this. It's almost like they're trying to goad detractors and trolls and haters into trying to mess with them. And usually it works. Like, look at Boogie. No, look at Boogie. He's had to beg and plead his audience for money to keep his lights on. Look at Wings. He got to a point where the trolls held his PSN account hostage and made him shave his beard so he looked like he looked awful, obviously. He's a fat dude without a beard and no hair. He just looks like a fucking thumb, like a really flabby thumb. And then he got his PSN back. And there was also a time where DSP was getting messed with a lot to a point where he was getting like um, copyright strikes on his account. And he legitimately did the most pathetic thing possible. He started like crying online. I was like, oh, um, why would you try and take me down? Then you won't have anyone else to laugh at. How would you say, what's the, what, why, what's the point of taking me down? You, you won't have a troll. You won't have a, uh, a low cow to laugh at. Like some weird defense. But this particular type of defense that he has is interesting as well, if you think about it more. Because it almost feels as if DSP thinks this gravy train is never going to end. It's almost as if he thinks like he's going to be able to beg and plead people for a living online forever or infinitely. He doesn't think there's ever going to be a time where his whales are not going to have the funds available to sustain his career and he's going to have to seek other forms of employment. He thinks this is going to last forever. And the really strange thing is now even more so, even though he still makes quite a lot of money, he's only making it because of like, what, two to five main whales are basically keeping him a, a, afloat? Maybe two? That's a pretty tenuous position to be in. 
to have two people responsible for paying your mortgage, paying your bills, your DoorDash orders, your alcohol consumption, your WWE Champions Addiction, that is a very, very squeaky bum time place to be at. So I don't understand why he takes a lot of um, pride in still being here. Like even says it in this other comment, it's been 16 years of people trying to end my YouTube presence and it hasn't worked and never will. Cry yourself to sleep. It's like, bro, you do know when people call you a pig roach, it's not a compliment. They call you a pig roach because you fucking snort like a pig and you look like one. And because you're a cockroach that outlives like every, everyone and anything around you. But the cockroach isn't also a compliment. That's kind of a bad thing. And the fact that you don't innovate, you don't try and keep up with the times, um, you're not trying to, be, you know, the, the more competition has come around you, the confidence obviously suffered. You lie and embellish and gaslight and whatever else that goes on to kind of keep yourself away from having any level of accountability. And I just, number one, like I said before, I just don't understand why he's tempting fate by saying this. There's absolutely nothing you can ever do to hurt me. That isn't true because hasn't everyone already hurt him already? Essentially, he lives in a gated community because of trolls. Because you're so scared of the this is how you don't play people when the son took a Jima, he basically moved into this gated community somewhere in Washington that he really can't afford. That's really too big for just him and his wife and his cat. So essentially the trolls have won. They have kind of hurt you because they made you move into a place that you probably don't need to live in. It's probably way too big for what you need. That's already hurt you. They've hurt you because you can't even turn on the voice chat on your games. They've hurt you because you can't participate in like podcasts without having to vet things properly. Like all these nonsense things that he does is all because he's so super scared of ever coming into contact or crossing paths with people who disagree with his point of view or are going to push back or trolls or detractors. So I just find this whole thing like he's tempting faith. Don't get me wrong. I'm one of the people out there who's always said that I don't hate anybody on social media. I think everybody presents a certain face on social. But I think DSP is the only person online who I could see myself hating. And if it did come to a point that his career went, you know, went kaput on YouTube, I'd be celebrating. That'd be like a celebration stream because that guy is the worst of the worst. So he actually deserves to be quote unquote you know, taken off of a platform, because especially him, he's always talking about how people should get taken off of platforms for trolling. It's like, bro, you know, if you start trying to goad or push for policing on the internet, you know, you'd be the first one to go because of all the shit you've done over the years. You'd be the first one on the chopping block. So yeah, the trolls may go, the tractors may go, but you will go along with them. You're not going to be hanging around. You're not exactly a pleasure to fucking watch. So it's pretty interesting, but low cow things, what can you do? DSP is always going to do what DSP is going to do. Um, let's scroll up actually and see if there's any updates regarding DSP before we move on. What else has he said here? Is there anything new updates? Curse your poems future. What's happened recently? Disaster stream. Um, and we see the DSP gets asked an obvious question about Street Fighter. I don't care about Street Fighter. If you're going to copy other people's homework when you play a game, you should want to do it first. We've got some other things here. DSP. Uh, by, by the way, what the fuck is this? T what the fuck is this shirt? LTG cussed him one time and now he's wearing these like McDonald's assistant manager, Burger King supervisor, button up t-shirts. All he's missing is like a name badge and a hat. And he could look like, he'd be like, oh, hello, good afternoon. How can I, how can I help you? Can I take your order? Hello, good afternoon. Can I have your order? Or whatever, Jeremy, you know I mean? like, welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the golden arches how can i help you <laughs> like what the fuck is he wearing what is that shirt so yeah um dsp is a piece of shit dsp is a piece of shit